Welcome you to the presence of the Most High God, the All-Knowing, the Almighty, the All-Faithful, the All-Loving God, the one who is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all we can think or imagine. Welcome you to his presence in the name of Jesus Christ, the, the one who is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all you can think or imagine, the one that has come to give you life and life in abundance, the one that created you in his image and likeness. I welcome you to his presence in the name of Jesus the one that made the clothes for Adam and Eve and covered their nakedness. Mm. He covered the nakedness of his children because Adam and Eve were created in his image and likeness. Even in their fall, he covered them all because they are his own. That is the love of God for you and the love of God for me. He's a loving father. He's a loving father, the caring father. He's the almighty God. He could make clothes. He could clothe the nakedness of Adam. He could clothe the nakedness of Eve. The Bible says he made them by himself. That is the almighty God. He is a faithful God. He is a faithful God. He cannot deny himself. Even when we do not believe in him, he still loves us. He sent his only begotten son, Jesus, to die on the cross of Calvary that he might reconcile us. That Jesus might reconcile us back to him. Now we are reconciled back to him. Our righteousness is in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. He will not forsake you. He will not abandon you. He will not leave you. That's what his word says. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. He has not changed and will never change. That is the God I present to you. Remain focused on him and your life will be triumphant. Your life will be significant. In the name of Jesus Christ, what you are face to face with right now is not God's ordain, it's the enemy. It's a design of the enemy to take your focus off out of the presence of God. The enemy wants to distract you. The enemy is interested in what God has given to you. So he's fighting every time, morning by night, to distract you from the plan of God, to take your focus off from God. Remain focused, beloved. The Bible says, be ye steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, always abounding, always looking forward to the goodness of God. Be steadfast, unmovable. Don't be moved by the distractions of men. Don't be moved by the distractions of the enemy. The enemy has come to steal, to kill, and to destroy, to distract you and take you out of the plan of God. God is in love with you. God loves you, beloved. That is the truth. God loves you. He covered the nakedness of Adam. That is God. That is the loving Father I present to you today. I pray that as you hear God's word, may the love of God overwhelm you. May the Lord strengthen you inside and outside. May the Lord refocus you to his own direction. May the Lord guide and lead every step of yours. In the name of Jesus, we know when your steps are directed, your business also will be directed. Your vocation will be directed. Your home will be directed. The things that God has committed to your hand, your destiny will be directed by God. Let him lead your way. You will never regret life. He is the Alpha and the Omega. Without him, there are no conclusions. No man can conclude your life without God. He is the one that has the final say. He has the final say. The final bus stop is with him. Until he says yes, there is no yes. Hallelujah. I see God redirecting you now in the name of the Lord Jesus. Let's pray together as we confess his word. Psalm 103, beginning from verse 1. Bless the Lord, hold my soul and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, hold my soul and forget not all his benefits. Who forgives all our iniquities. He forgave all our iniquities, who heal all our diseases, who redeem our soul from destruction, crown us with love, with kindness, and tender mercies, fees our mouth with good things, our youth is renewed like the ego. He executes righteousness and justice on behalf of all who are oppressed. As heaven is high above the air, so great is his mercy towards us. As far as the east is from the west, so has he removed our transgression from us. May your mouth be filled with good things this week. May your mouth be filled with good things. In the name of Jesus Christ, Psalm 118 says, This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in. I just know that we will rejoice and be glad in. 
regardless of the pandemic, regardless of the things we feel and hear, we will rejoice in this day because the Lord, the author and the finisher of today made it for my advantage, made it for your advantage for us to rejoice and be glad in. Confess it daily, confess it by day and by night that this is the day that the Lord has made. Your body, your system needs to hear that, that the author of today designed it for my joy, for your joy. You need to confess it. Your system, your innermost part of you need to hear it, that this day is designed for your joy, and your joy will be full in the name of Jesus. I pray, may no man truncate your joy, may no man tamper with your joy, may no devil tamper with your joy, may no devil tamper with your joy in the name of Jesus, may no devil tamper with the joy of your family in the name of Jesus, may the Lord stand by you by day and by night, may your focus remain on Christ, may you not take your eyes off from him in the name name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Our topic today is good news. Always good news. Our subtopic, whatever is not working must work in your favor. Whatever is not working in your life must work in your favor. Hallelujah. Work for your joy. Promote your joy. May pressure turn to pleasure in the name of Jesus. Whatever has pressured your life that has created so much pain and disappointment and frustrations, may they turn to pleasure. May they walk in your favor in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Beloved, whatever is not working must work according to God's word. Because God is involved, they must work. It's a season of divine turnaround, beloved. Divine turnaround for your good, for your good, for your pleasure. Because the Bible is clear in, in John 10.10, 10, God has come, Christ has come to give us life and life in abundance. Christ has come to give us a rich and a satisfying life. You must have a rich life and you must have a satisfied life. Satisfied life. Are you satisfied with what you are doing? Are you satisfied with your life? Are you satisfied with your status? If you are not, listen to God's word. God can flip it around and give you a rich and satisfying life. That is the message I present to you. Whatever is not working must work in your favor. In your name of the Lord Jesus, you are to enjoy rich and satisfying life. Your family to enjoy rich and satisfying life. Christ in you is the hope of glory. Christ in you bet a new beginning for you. Christ in you gives you a rich and a satisfying life. In the name of Jesus, in John chapter 9, Jesus encountered a man that was born blind. He has never seen in his life. He was born blind. He walked around blind. He ate his food blind. He spoke to people, communicated with people blind. He went out with people, with family members blind. He was in that society a blind man. When people describe things of what was happening around, he never saw it. He only imagined it. Everything around him was black, was blank. He was blind. But Jesus passed his way. And I see the master passing your way. I see the word of God coming your way to redirect and refocus. When Jesus encountered this man, there was a destiny change. There was a flip. There was a turnaround. And that is my expectation for you. As I pray with you in this season, your destiny will turn around to match up the plan of God for your life. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Whatever is not working must work. In the name of Jesus. For the first time that that man encountered Jesus, his eyes were open. Jesus opened his eyes. Jesus opened his eye. He saw what he never saw before. He saw a new beginning. He saw new life. He saw hope. He saw joy. His joy was full. He got a rich and a satisfying life. Even when those around him didn't believe. They didn't believe in him. They wondered why that should happen on a Sabbath day. But that's not the issue. He has encountered Jesus. No man that encountered the master that remains the same. And I pray you will not remain the same. Your life will not remain the same. Your business will not remain the same. Your family will not remain the same. 
Today I'm to pray with you. I want to pray with you for you to enjoy a rich and a satisfying life. In the name of Jesus, enough of lamentations, enough of frustrations, enough of disappointments, enough of failures, enough of backward movement. This is the time to move forward. This is the time to engage our destiny and overcome in the name of the Lord Jesus. He encountered Jesus. The man that was born blind, what has never worked for him, began to walk. And I pray, what has never worked for you, will begin to walk. You are married, you have never been pregnant. I pray for the visitation of the Holy Spirit upon you. Mragababakonde, that Holy Spirit that came upon Mary, and Mary became pregnant, even with that man, Marogoshenka. That same spirit, I pray for a quickening upon your body. What is not working in your system, may they begin to walk in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Brigadoste, your body has defied all medications, have defied all test results. But today I pray that the spirit that raised up Christ from the dead, may that spirit quicken you. May that spirit come upon you. May that spirit quicken upon you. Quicken you in the name of Jesus. May the word of God quicken you right now. In the name of Jesus, I pray with you. Marugodo, I decree and declare that your faith be stirred up. That the Spirit of God come upon you. You will not walk by sight, but you walk by faith. That's what the word of God declares. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I pray that you will believe what you are hearing now. Maruna Kato Korobo Sande. The psalmist says, Bless the Lord, oh my soul, and all that is within me, all that is within you. May everything within you rise up to bless God. May they celebrate the God that created them. May they celebrate the rich and a satisfying life that they expect. In the name of Jesus Christ, what is not working? You have failed them severally, but I pray a turn around for you. May the wisdom of God come. May the knowledge of God come upon you that the next exam will be victorious for you. In the name of Jesus, don't give up. Those who give up are never celebrated. Failure is unwillingness to continue on. You must continue and achieve your success. Success is willingness to continue regardless of the challenges. This is the time for you to continue until you arrive at your destination. Don't stop. Stop, in, stop looking at those around you. Stop looking at those who have failed. You are not them. You are you. You are uniquely made. Fearfully and wonderfully made in the sight of the Almighty God. I present to you the God that cannot fail. I present to you the God that answers prayer. I present to you the God that rules over the visible and the invisible. For by him were all things created. That is the God I present to you today. I pray that you believe the word of God. And I pray that you believe what God says in his word. And I pray that you believe the prophet what you are hearing now. And be blessed. In the name of Jesus, he will give you rich and a satisfying life. Let me say this to you, beloved. God will not add sorrow to your joy. God will not add sorrow to your joy, no. He will not add sorrow to your joy. The Bible says, the blessing of the Lord maketh rich, it adds no sorrow to it. God is too big to add sorrow to your joy. No, no. Remember, he covered Adam and Eve by himself. I'm telling you, God will not have sorrow to you. The trick of the enemy is to say that those things you suffer or the pain is from God to humble you. How can God humble you? If God gives you sickness, no doctor can cure you. No, not one. And he will not give you. Never. Never will God have sorrow or sickness to you to humble you. With a flip of a thing, I can call you home. How can he be humbling you with sickness? The lie of the devil. The devil has come to lie. The Bible says in John 8, 44, he is the father of lies. No truth in him. No truth. Not one truth. You failed your exam once. You failed it the second time. You failed the third time. Say, so, okay, maybe God is humbling me so I can be humble. Stop! God will not humble you with failure. God will only humble you with success. Extraordinary success. That is what God humbles you with. When you look to the right, to the left, you say, oh, well, it has been God, not man. When the Spirit of God rules in you, he, he quickens you to be humble before God. Hallelujah. Whatever is not working is my message must begin to work. Listen to this message over and over again. Send it to your friends. Send it to your loved ones and let them know whatever is not working must work. The blind man never saw in John 9 but began to see 
began to see when he encountered Jesus Christ, you will begin to see everything that is blind in and around you. I have declared an opening for them in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. How do we achieve this? By praying the Spirit. It is the Spirit that quickens it. The flesh profits nothing by engaging the Spirit of the Lord. The Bible says in Zechariah 4, 6, not by power, not by mind, it is by the Spirit. How do we command the things that are not working to work? By the Spirit of God. By the Spirit of God. Amen. Do you know the spiritual rules over the physical? Yes. The Spirit of God knows everything. Knows everything. He knows the spiritual. He knows the physical. He rules over them. Today, what is not working has never worked for you, and it's not working for you that you have tried, may they open up for joy in the name of Jesus Christ. The Bible says in Romans chapter 8, verse 11, But if the Spirit of him who raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you, he who raised Christ from the dead will also give to you your mortal bodies through his Spirit who dwells in you. We'll also give life to your mortal body. We give life to your mortal body. If the spirit that raised up Christ from the dead dwells in you, how would the spirit dwell in you? By the word, by connecting to the word of God. Jesus promised us in John 16, he will pray the Father to send the comforter, comforter to us. And that is the spirit of God. Receive him right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. God is almighty if the spirit that raised up Christ from the dead. When the enemy celebrated that Jesus was dead, the spirit stood by to confirm God's word. Confirm God's word. The spirit stood by Jesus. Jesus was crucified. The spirit stood by him to fulfill God's word. Jesus was not killed by the devil. Jesus gave up his self to fulfill what God said. That he will destroy this beauty and in three days he will raise it. He will raise it back for himself. He laid down his life for your sake and for my sake. That he might purchase you back to himself. We have been purchased in 1 Corinthians 6. We have been bought with a price. The blood is a price that was paid. Not paid to the devil but paid to his father. We have access to his father. So there is therefore now no condemnation. Romans 8 1. Unto those who are in Christ. Who do not walk after the flesh. Who do not walk after the dictates of the enemy. Who do not walk after the past. But walk after the, after the spirit of the Lord. That follows the master. Look at the scripture. The spirit raised Jesus from the dead. On the third day. According to the word of God. He made a mockery. The spirit of God made a mockery of the devil. In Psalm 24. He said lift up your head ye gaze. And be lifted up ye everlasting doors. And the king of glory shall come in. And the king of glory came in. Even when the devil resists that who is the king of glory. He said the Lord strong. The Lord mighty in battle. This is the time for our celebration of life. Jesus rose up at the appointed time. And so Jesus rose up. The spirit raised Christ up from the grave. So we also quicken your mortal body. And give you new life. Give you rich and satisfying life. Amen. Look at what the scripture says, Acts chapter 2, 22 to 24. It says, men of Israel, hear these words. Jesus of Nazareth, a man attested by God to you and by miracles. A man attested by God to you and by miracles. Wonders and signs which God did through him in your means. As you yourself also know, you know. <laughs> You saw the notable miracles. He addressed them. The sign is the man. He addressed them. You know the notable miracles. Verse 23. Him being delivered by the determinate purpose and for knowledge of God. You have taken by lawless hands, have crucified and put to death. But you know the scripture said being, he being delivered by the determinate purpose. Opposed and for knowledge of God was not by accident. No, no, not, not, not. Because he already said the seed of the woman will bruise the head of the serpent. That he spoke to them very clearly. That Jesus being delivered by the determinate purpose and for knowledge of God. For knowledge of God. For whom they did for know. 
them he also predestinated. To those he predestinated, he called. To those he called, he justified. To those he called, justified, he glorified. For whom he did foreknow, it was a foreknowledge that Jesus will lay down his life and on the third day he will be raised back. And what did he say? Verse 24, whom God raised up. Hallelujah! Whom God raised up. Having lost the pains of death because it was not possible that he should be held by death. <laughs> Glory be to the Lamb of God. He said it was not possible. And I'm saying to you, it is, it is not possible for the enemy to hold you captive forever. No. It was not possible that he, that he should be held by death. No. At the appointed time he got up. The spirit raised him up. Under the nose of the enemy. They all was watching helplessly. He got up. And I'm saying this is your season of resurrection. This is your season of making the things that are not working to work for you. And I pray may they begin to work and respond to you. In the name of Jesus, your prayers, every time you pray, you don't seem to see results. I pray from today, as you listen to God's word, may you see results. May it be evidential for you. In the name of Jesus, may your eyes behold the results. In the name of Jesus, may the Lord exceed your expectations. The expectations of your home. The expectations of your health. The expectations of your business, the expectations of your children, of your destiny. May the Lord exceed them in the name of Jesus. Hmm. The apostle said, whom God raised, having lost the pains of death. Because it was not possible that he should be held by it. The devil does not have the final say. The devil does not have what it takes to hold you perpetually. For as much then as the children are partakers of flesh and blood, the Bible says he himself likewise took part of the same, that through death he might destroy him that had the power of death. And that is the devil, and deliver everyone who through the fear of death were all their lifetime subject to the enemy. Hebrews chapter 2, 14 and 15. Who through the fear of death, Many in the fear of COVID-19 are held them captive. Many in the fear of what has happened to their neighbors, what has happened in their family, or what happened to their parents. The fear of it has held them in captivity. I declare deliverance for you in the name of the Lord Jesus. Your DNA matches with Jesus Christ because you are born again. Stop aligning with what killed your parents. You will not die by it because you're a new creator. All things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. Your mother died with diabetes and now you are feeling uncomfortable. Oh, it will soon be my turn. Stop! Confess God's word. Stop aligning with the things that killed your parents or killed the family member. Align with the truth of God's word. The Bible says that death could not hold him back. It was not possible. It was not possible that he should be held by death. Not possible. What a statement of fact, of certainty. It was not possible. And I'm saying to you, that sickness, it is impossible for that sickness to ground you. I deliver you from the pains of that affliction. I deliver you from the handwriting of the enemy. In the name of Jesus Christ, Jesus blotted out the handwriting of ordinances against us that were contrary to us. He took them out of the way. He nailed them to the cross. Enough is enough. Enough of frustrations. Enough of disappointments. Enough of pain. Be delivered from that pain in the name of Jesus Christ. Blood condition, be delivered from it in the name of Jesus. Do you know this is not my words? The Bible says in Philippians 2, in the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow. And I command that pain to bow. The affliction of the enemy over your body, bow. That heart condition, bow. The prostrate issue, bow. The arthritis, bow. My gray headache, Bow! Blindness! Bow! In the name of Jesus! Unable to move forward! Bow! That paralysis! Bow! In the name that is above every other name. Do you know the name of Jesus is above those issues of life? 
they could not hold him back. Colossians chapter 1, 13 to 17. He has delivered us from the power of darkness and conveyed us into the kingdom of his dear son. You must receive what has been given to you. You must receive what God has delivered to you. That's what the word of God says. He delivered us from the power of destruction. He delivered us from the power of darkness. He delivered us from the power of frustrations. He delivered us from the power of the enemy. From the set plans of the wicked one. He delivered us from them. And conveyed us into the kingdom of light. The kingdom of the dear son. The kingdom of love. The kingdom of satisfaction. The kingdom of rich and a satisfying life. He delivered us and brought us into that kingdom. That is the kingdom we are in now. Greater is he that is in me, greater is he that is in you, than he that is against you. This is the season, your season to rejoice and enjoy what has been delivered to you. You didn't pay anything for it. You didn't pay a dime for it. But Christ delivered you from them. He delivered it from, oh my God, delivered us from them all. Whatever is not working must work for you because Christ paid the price for them. Christ purchased them for you. They must work for you. You will graduate from that uh, school in the name of Jesus Christ. Mm -mm. Whatever man has mocked you with, may they turn around and celebrate you in the name of Jesus. Isaiah 61 says, for shame, you shall have double honor in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. You will graduate successfully. Don't give up. You finish your first degree, no job. Have your master's degree. Finish your master's degree, go for your PhD. Not just the sky that is your limit. No, no, heaven is there, standing by you. Aspire. Stop crawling, start walking. Start moving. Continue to move. The Bible said, he is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn over all creation. For by him all things were created, that are in heaven, that are on earth, whether they be visible or invisible, whether they be thrones or dominions, principalities, powers, all things were created by him and for him. And he is before all things, by him all things consist. By him all things consist. La Braga Bacondiria, we're going to engage the Spirit of the Lord for the things that are not working in you. Let them to begin to walk. It says, I have not seen, ye have not heard, it has not entered the heart of any man the things which God has prepared for them that love him. But God has revealed them by, to us by his Spirit. It is the Spirit. God is a Spirit. They that connect with him must connect him in the Spirit and in truth. Beloved, there are many things you don't know. God said to me some time ago, he said, what I know you don't know. There are things you don't know that I know. There are things he sees that you don't see. And so when God says stand, you must stand. Because what he knows is, for, is so much more than what you know. God knows more than you know, beloved. He knows more than you do. <laughs> what you know, you think you know, he don't know anything compared to what he knows. So be, be flexible to his direction. When God says pray, pray. When the Spirit of the Lord asks you to pray, pray. Oftentimes the Lord wakes me up and says pray. I just look at her, what should I pray for? Pray, pray in the Spirit. Pray for people. And I pray for you. And I pray for you. So when the Spirit of the Lord asks you to pray, pray. When the Spirit of the Lord says, move, move. When he says, sit, sit. Because what he knows, you don't know. He knows what you don't know. He sees what you cannot see. He said, no, I know so much about my family. You don't know so much about them. You know something, but you don't know so much about them. I know so much about my business. No, but God knows more than you. He's the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. So let's engage the Spirit of the Lord for whatever is not working to begin to walk. To begin to walk. And I want you, and I want you to believe what you are hearing. Blessed is she that believeth. There shall be a performance of those things the Lord has promised. You must believe it to become it. You must believe it. You must believe what the Word of God to become it. 
to enjoy the fruit of it. The dividend of it is belief. You must have faith in it. You must have faith in God's word. Hebrews 11, 6 says, He that coming to God must believe that he is and is the rewarder of them that diligently seek him. For without faith it is impossible to please God. You can please him without faith. He's the one that says, call upon me and I will answer you and I will show you things you don't know. There are things you don't know. There is a reason why that thing is not working and has never worked. But God knows. And God can flip it for you. And has flipped it now to the glory of God. Amen. Do you know why that money is not in your hand? It's beyond you. Beyond you. God knows everything. Hallelujah. The spirit that raised up Christ from the dead. I pray that that spirit begin to quicken you now as we pray in the spirit. May the Spirit quicken your mind. What you think about, may the Spirit of God quicken your mind to align with the thoughts of heaven. Whatsoever things are true, whatever things are lovely, whatever things are kind, whatever things are favorable, whatever things are good report, if there be any praise, any but you think on these things, may the Spirit of the Lord energize you to begin to think on those things. In the name of Jesus, Bragabakunde, whatever is not working in your marriage. May they begin to work. Whatever is not working in that relationship, may they begin to work. In the name of Jesus, Bragados, Breganamaso, Bracadari, Malinga, Bacandorobo Zande. Whatever is not working in your proposals for that business, may they begin to work. In the name of Jesus, may the Lord show up in your business. May the Lord show up in your home, in your life. Whatever is not working in your body, may they begin to work now in your favor. In the name of Jesus, Branga Daka Borobo, Beraba Kashengori, Lingro Magandaraba, Libro Goto, Maranga Bakandi, Branga Dotobo, Mrahilama, Libro Goshega Daraba Bakundi, Bralaga Bakaso, Brekada Rabaka Dare, Maramaka Zopo, Kashandada, Libro Gadata, Maragadose, Brigada Marogada, Bragado Shekata, Maroma Mason, Brigada, Libragada, Brogodo Shekataria. Pray with me, don't just listen. Pray with me. Roma Gandare Mozon Torebo Santare Matanda. Don't hurry away. You're always in a hurry. Where are you hurrying to? 24 hours in a day, you hurry to wake up. You hurry to run out. You hurry this, you hurry that. That's why many things are not working. Even the things that seem to be working are working against you. Don't be in a hurry. Pray in the spirit. Engage the spirit of the Lord. Magadori Mazombre Gadaremo Zomteria Lebro Lebro Godo Bagadaremo Konderevo. I see successful deliveries in the name of Jesus. Baragabababakane Lebro Gadarea. Successful marriages in the name of Jesus. Bragadata Maragadorobo Yebronko Torobo Sankatareba Marongo Dorebo Sankatarababakarebo Sunday. The Bible says it was not possible that dead held him by. And so I Pray, disappointment will not hold you down. Frustrations will not hold you down. Whatever is not working will not hold you down. I declare you free from them. In the name of Jesus Christ, you are a graduate, first class, second class, upper, second class, lower. Your degree is with you. You are HMD holder, NC holder. You have a degree. You have gone to school, but no job. You're moving from one place to the other. Today, I declare a turnaround. In the name of Jesus Christ, whatever is not working, begin to work for you may begin to walk in your favor. May they begin to walk in your favor. In the name of Jesus Christ. Barongo doto maranga de se. Le gro makanto robo she katarababa kuria makande. Duraka baba baba bakonde. Le karababa May they begin to walk for you. Baranga darima. When you thought you would build your house this year. Now your land is being disputed. I pray that the land will come in your favor. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Break gabakonde robo sonkodo. All of you that have been victims of circumstances, I declare a turn around for you in the name of Jesus. Brangaporobo Zenkataria, every hidden tribe that have minimized you, Magrobaka, may the Lord deliver you. He promised to rescue us from the dangers of hidden tribe, from the hidden trap of the enemy. In the name of Jesus, Brogashindare, Branamamamamamama, Lorokotopa, Librokata, Marangata, Marogodo, Marogoshekata.
Rakata, Le Brokature, Le Brokosheka, Le Brokata, Marona, Marokatata, Marogodo, Maragada, Marogodo, Meregedo, Bragadoko, Maragadota, Marangadore, in your home, Maragadoto, Maragadatama, Le Gromakanda, Makatoto, Maregedo Sege, Bragado, Praliga, Marano Sopa, La Branga Toshe, Bregatoto Maranga, in your vocation, Bragadose, Bragatoto Baragado, in all areas of your life, Brengalu, Bralu Shakatata, Maranga Toto, Maragato Robo Zakata, Ombragatoto, Maranga Dose, Kerebo, Konderebo, Makonderebo, Makantorebo, somebody is due for a favorable handshake. May you receive that this week in the name of Jesus Christ, Bragatata, Morangado, Bragedo Sheka, Braluta, Maron, Bralege, Brota, Sopakata, Braligo, Borogo Shekata, Marangata Tata, Marogoto, Maregedo Toto, Marogoto, Marangatoto Basheka, Bregatata, Marogoto, Brahiga Baconde, Bregatoto, may the Lord restore your joy. All of you that have lost loved ones, may the Lord restore your joy. In the name of Jesus, may there be restoration to your joy. Today I declare restoration to somebody's joy in the name of Jesus. I declare restoration on all areas of life. Whatever is not working, say with me, whatever is not working in my life, may they work for me. May they begin to work in for my favor. In the name of Jesus, whatever is not working around me, may they begin to work in my favor. In the name of Jesus, whatever is not working in my business, whatever is not working in my home, whatever is not working in my job, whatever is not working in my vocation, whatever is not working in my destiny, may they begin to work for me. Say that, confess Pass it over and over again. In the name of the Lord Jesus. And I believe, beloved, whatever is not working, is working now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. To God be the glory. Great things he has done. Amen and amen. I believe by faith. And I know it. That whatever has not worked, will now begin to work. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. This is the time to celebrate life and celebrate it. Hallelujah. To God be the glory. Great things he has done. To God be the glory. Amen. You must be thankful to God all the days of your life. This is the time for you to say, God, thank you. Whatever is not working is not working. You must be grateful to God. Thank him. Thank him. All you owe him is thank him. Worship him and thank him. And say, Lord, thank you. Not by power, not by might. It is by the spirit of the Lord. If you are not born again, you need to be born again to make those things that are not working to walk in your favor. You want to encounter the Holy Spirit, encounter the love of God in an extraordinary manner, connect yourself to Him. Let your focus be on Him, the focus be on Christ. Say with me, Lord Jesus, I've heard your word. I believe your word. I receive your word today. Forgive my past, forgive my sins. Grant me a new beginning. Thank you for accepting me. In Jesus' name, amen. You pray that prayer, you're born again. And I pray that the Spirit of God will continue to connect you and lead you and guide you in the name of Jesus. The numbers on your screen call. We will talk to you further about the love of God. Amen. Finally, Hebrews 10.35. I love to conclude with this. Cast not away your confidence, which has great recompense of reward. You have need of patience after you have done the will of God, that you may obtain the promise. Yet the little while, he that will come, we come. But the just shall live by faith. If any man draw back, my soul shall not have pleasure in him that draw back. But we are not of them that draw back. We are not of them that draw back. You will not be one of those who will draw back in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Whatever is not working, we walk in your favor. In Jesus' name, amen.